Greetings, industry leaders, billionaires, mere multi-millionaires, and people who will eventually watch this on the internets. I'm here to introduce someone very special and dear to me in that he controls my financial well-being. Viacom Chairman Philippe Dumont, or the Dough Man, as I call him. Now, despite my appearance, I am not Stephen Colbert. I am just a digitized representation. Right now, the real Stephen Colbert is waist-high at a foam party in Ibiza. As I pretend to look out upon this room, I can't help but notice a lot of movers and shakers. To those of you who sold your internet companies this weekend, congratulations. And remember, you want the Gulfstream G550. It makes the G500 look like Snoopy's flying doghouse. It's a different world today, folks. A hundred years ago, we all would have been smoking cigars on someone's private island before going out to hunt the most dangerous game, man. Now we can do that from the comfort of Second Life. This weekend offers an all-nerd star lineup of speakers like Steve Jobs, Steve Ballmer, Steve Case, Steve Gates, and me. I fit right in. And all of these people are here to share their ideas about the future of digital technology, or at least what they're willing to say in front of a room full of competitors. No free rides. That's for the suckers in open source, whose convention, I believe, is being held at a trailer park in Kingman, Arizona. You get what you pay for. But this is D5. Wow. I can't believe it took me five years to get invited to this thing. I guess I wasn't user-friendly enough for Walt Mossberg. But disregard everything else you're going to hear about the future of all things digital, because I'm going to serve you the truth faster than an Ajax-powered web app serves standards-compliant XML. And I trust what I just said means something. Yes, we are in the midst of a revolution, folks, where voice, TV, and the internets all enter our homes to the same digital pipe. But personally, I won't be satisfied until I can download chocolate cake through fiber optic cable, okay? If we can dream it, we can do it. We just have to suck hard enough. I don't understand what all this bandwidth is for. If you're like me, you're terrified of the future. It's where I'll eventually die. But it's also loaded with opportunity. Look at me. People watch my show on television, buy it on iTunes, download it to their Xbox, and steal it via BitTorrent. Just imagine how many people would buy the iPhone if I got one for free and mentioned it on my show. Steve Jobs. Is he here? Is he, some, is he in the room? Because I'm already practicing having one. Bring, bring. Oh, that must be my iPhone ringing. Look, I have an iPhone and you don't. No one in the world has one but me. Aren't I cool? Hello? Calls will take a long time. By the way, I should mention that this digital feed right now is copyright 2007 Viacom. Any unauthorized use or reproduction can and will get you sued for $1 billion. I get a cut. But back to Philippe Dumont, or as he specifically asked me not to call him, Phil. Phil has been on the board of directors of Viacom since 1987. That's just two years after the company bought MTV Networks. Back then, people like Tipper Gore accused Viacom of trying to destroy America. Well, 20 years later, we're all proud to say, mission accomplished. So without any further ado, please welcome the chairman of Viacom, a director of National Amusements, Inc., the Sultan of Synergy, Conqueror of Worlds, Slayer of the Great Bear, and lead singer of Incubus, Mr. Philippe Dumont.